Oh yeah, it's an early stream. What's up? So I'm probably going to explain this again in a little bit, but this week is going to be just a clusterfuck. Um, so I'm just trying to fit streams in whenever I can. So my streaming schedule this week is going to be erratic, maybe a little erotic, but this is basically uh, the only time I can stream today. So I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to finish hat in time. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're all awake. I hope the the Sandman, <laughs> Mr. Sandman, has taken the dust out of your eye, and you're now prepared for a Hat and Time stream. I hope you enjoyed your breakfast. I just had breakfast. Well, it was lunch. It was lunch breakfast. But yeah, this is a pretty early stream for me. For anyone watching in the future on the Full Sauce channel, it's it's 4 p.m. I've been up since noon, but I had a lot of shit to do, so... And I have a Queens of the Stone Age concert to do... ...in, like, a couple hours. Yeah... What did I have? Uh, that's... well, um, I, I had... ...ham and Swiss, lettuce, tomato, mayo... ...on an amazing... ...bread. Best bread, but also a little antipasto salad, which is Italian for whatever remains of cold cut shit they can find. Put some celery and oil on it. Go fuck yourself. That's what antipasto is. Right, so, um, just a couple hourglasses left. No, no, I'm not- when I say having a concert to do, I don't mean I'm actually performing. I'm just going to see Queens of the Stone Age play. That was the wrong choice of words. So... Yeah, I've got, uh, sorry, five timepieces, and then the final boss. Um, I didn't do the workshop stuff because I didn't have time to delete the game, transfer save data, download a new copy of the game. So one day I'm gonna do a Hat in Time workshop stream. We'll do Mario maps, we'll do the Vine Sauce mod, it'll be great. And it'll be its own stream. Um, I might stream a little something else after this, if I finish this quickly. So, I guess we'll see. Again, for anyone just joining, I know my streaming schedule this week is going to be really, like, super erratic. Tomorrow is going to be weird, too. But, um, and then Thursday, Friday, Mario Odyssey, whenever I can. Saturday, I'll be in Atlantic City for a convention. Sunday, I'll try to show up for a Sunday stream. I think I can make it home in time to do so. Ha ha! Rockets are fast. And if Mafia on Rocket, Mafia is fast. Fastest man alive! Little child want to race fastest man alive? Mafia stole timepiece from HQ. If you win, Mafia give it to you. It is on! Mafia not sure Mafia survive this. I love the way they speak. Mafia die as fastest man alive! Alright, let's do this. Get ready! Go! The tip top? This is so Diddy Kong. And this is how you cheat the Mafia. It's not too hard! Um, am I even going the right way anymore? Yes, I am. Oh yeah, no, I need- I need a vac fan right now. That is amazing. I don't even know what happened to him. 
just me. I haven't been on the stream for a few days and your voice sounds different. I, I think I am a little sick, but I does it sound different to anyone else? And uh, whoever asked, what do I think of David Bowie's Scary Monsters album? Probably one of his best. And that's saying a lot, but I, I really love Scary Monsters. That was one of the first Bowie albums that really drew me to him. Okay, so we have to find the thing there. Um... You sound a little far away from your mic. Sounds a little bit different. You're bassy today? That's weird. I've changed no settings. <clears throat> you don't sound tired as usual? Well, here, let's, let's see. Let me be the judge of my own voice. You're gonna hear an echo. Don't freak out! Oh, hey, oh, Vin. Hey, Vin. You sound you a little sound different, different today. today. A little bassier? A little, bassier, a little nasalier? A little nasalier. Erotic. Erotic. Erratic. Erratic. It's about the same. It's fine. You're also getting, um, coffee, Vin, as opposed to late night, I'm tired and I want to, I want to, uh, I want to go to sleep while playing video games, Vin. Alright, so now I just have to find that thing. Uh, where is the thing? Vinny, why is the kid a Lannister whore now? What? A Dothraki whore, Ned! Oh, oh, I see what you mean. It took me a minute to understand what the fuck you were saying. See? Outfit changes. Doesn't seem to be where the timepiece is. Uh, does anyone have any pointers? Also, did you know gaming did a pretty good episode on this game? A full one, too. There's enough info to have a full episode on this game. Best Talking Heads albums? Uh, Fear of Music is probably my favorite. More songs about buildings and food, and Remain in Light. up these stairs. Okay, I'm in the right spot. Favorite Queens of the Stone Age album. Songs for the Deaf. But I think Like Clockwork definitely um, is up there. I mean, we'll see what happens tonight. I mean, depending on how, how they perform tonight. I, I might have, um, different opinions about, like, I don't know, maybe I'll love the new album even more. Oh, here it is. Animal Crossing Direct? Yeah, there's an Animal Crossing Direct today, but it's gonna be like a fucking Animal Crossing mobile game. What's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, well, his name is Red Letter Media. His name. So if you wondered why we haven't heard anything about Animal Crossing Switch... ...just yet, it's because we gotta get... ...Animal Crossing Mobile. A mobile phone? What? I don't know, maybe it'll be good. I don't want it. But I might like it. If the Direct is good and the game is good, maybe I'll check it out, but... I don't know, I'd prefer a Switch version. But, uh, maybe in a year or two. Um... 
But yeah, I know there's a lot of people that are here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I know there's a lot of people here that haven't been here live in a long time because I stream late because of time zone differences and stuff. But, um... You know, if so, welcome. I know there's a lot of questions. Many of the questions I answer are repeat answers. Four or five times over. But sometimes I don't... Sometimes I don't mind answering again. Come on... Hat flip, nice. Okay, Mafia Town is done. Just a couple time pieces left. What do you think of Mario Odyssey? Well, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I think it looks fucking awesome. I can't wait for it. Which is why I wanted to finish this before I got to that, because, you know... Platformer Overload. I did that one already, right? Yeah. Oh, right, I did that already, right? I did all of that. All those switches. Do you listen to any Ben Folds? I've listened to some Ben Fold. I like Scoot the Burbs. I did this already, though, no? Oh, no, this is the very end. Okay, this is the very, very end. I thought this was the spoopy world. It's not. It's the end of life as we know it. Um, if I have time, I'll be able to play a little something else after this. But we'll see, depending on how long this takes. I have to plot out my trip. The doors to Madison Square Garden open at 7, but they're probably not going to go on... Um... Until Royal Blood's going on at around 8. And then Queens of the Stone Age are going on around 9. Probably 9.30. Knowing, um... Knowing how late concerts start. Anything here? Uh, yeah things. Uh, time rift. Uh, so these are, this is the last couple. What do you think of the band Muse? Um, I don't know, I kind of lost interest. Not really crazy about a lot of their recent stuff. I like their earlier stuff. What do you think? Sometimes. Oh, Gold Ruby, I'm sorry that the band-related questions annoy you ever so much. It's not on this level, so... Fuck, where do I have to go? Chapter Battle of the Birds. It doesn't actually say where I have to go. Picture of the rift. So it's not train rush, it's it's um okay. It's there's one here. There's one in the studio. So um I guess we can do picture perfect to start.
Vinny, your opinions don't match mine. Can I complain? Yeah, send all complaints to vine sauce trash at trash dot trash. There's nothing there. It's a good place to complain to. The official Vine Sauce complaint line is now open. 555-865-5555 is where you can go. Five. Don't forget the last five, otherwise you won't be able to get there. Wrong act. Oh my god, I, I keep doing the wrong act. Every fucking time. Alright, I need to go to like, the big parade. Murder train, parade, and intro level. Cool, thank you. No, that's good. That's good advice. I appreciate that. So now I have to just find this thing. could be anywhere. The picture looks like everything on this level. Balloons? Wouldn't happen to have any red balloons, would you? Memories of Slender Clown all over again. Vinny, what do you think of the GameCube support on the Switch? So they released a patch that allows you to use the GameCube controller on the Switch, and some games like Mario Kart take advantage of it. Um, I don't think it means we're going to get HD Melee anytime soon, but I do think it's a nice support option for future games. I think eventually there's going to be a smash on the system. And that's clearly one way to do it. I don't think... I don't think we're going to see anything really soon, though. Whoa, you fuckers. Oh shit, right there following me. Um... As for tonight's Direct, tonight's Direct is not related to the Switch, as far as I'm aware. I think it's just Animal Crossing for the phone, and that's it. So don't expect too much, is my official advice. Official Vine Sauce advice, don't expect too much from tonight's Direct. But one day, one day we'll get something that will be more useful for a GameCube controller, like, um, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee HD. Hi, Nintendo fans. Reggie fils me here. And I'm here to tell you that we've listened. And we finally are delivering. Melee HD is on the way. Everyone loses their shit. Cut to footage of Godzilla. GameCube Virtual Console would be pretty cool, though. I think that would be um, a really great selling point for the system. Okay. Get the fuck out of here, burbs. It's fucking burbs. What GameCube game would you like to see on the Virtual Console? Um... 
lots of them. I know this is a weird first thing to say, but Star Fox Assault? I wouldn't mind replaying that game. I don't know why. I guess maybe I've been craving a decent Star Fox game. Um, what else? Obviously, Thousand Year Door, you know, Sunshine, all that. But, I mean, people want Sunshine HD. I'd be okay with an upscaled Sunshine on the Virtual Console for the Switch. Eternal Darkness. Eternal Darkness is one of my top horror games of all time. I would love to see that come back. More people need to discover that game. There's also a big, um... There wasn't there a big cock-up with the sequel to Eternal Darkness? Shadows of the Eternals or something? And they did a Kickstarter. They failed to reach their goal. Did another one at a lower goal. Failed to reach that. And now they're still developing the game. Battalion Wars? Oh, that's that was a good series. Pikmin, of course, but here's the thing. Battalion Wars. I want to see some of the more underrated games, like, get a re-release on the Switch. Battalion Wars was really fucking solid. Why, help as you get from one owl no. to another. We can share details. Get on. No, 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 no. I just if need to get to the time rift. Father, Fucker! If you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? <laughs> Custom Robo was also a really cool game. Custom Robo was, was surprisingly decent. Why an early stream today? Um, going to a concert later. Queens of the Stone Age. Wario World was pretty cool. Someone in chat named It's a me, Wario Gaming. Just wrote Wario World. I would expect nothing less from a name like that. Wario World was kind of a little too bland for my liking though. That's the problem. Like I, I tried so hard to get into it on a few occasions. And for some reason I just I could never finish the game. It wasn't a bad game. It just did not... it didn't do it... for me. Oh. Okay, so that's probably not the way to do that. I didn't see the gap in between the platform here. I didn't see that gap. Thick gap. Didn't see it. Alright, we're good. So how about that Cry of Fear stream last night? Felt like a fucking fever dream after I was done. As shitty as it was at times, I still walked away with a positive feeling about it. Like, I, I enjoyed the shittiness of it as much as I enjoyed the campiness and how good it was in, at times. But it's, it didn't age as well as people make it out. It's, it's probably suffering from some slightly dated mechanics as a result of the gold source engine. It's just silly. But it's still pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's making for a nice, campy, fun Halloween stream. Afraid of Monsters was better. I heard about Afraid of Monsters. I have not <laughs> fucked a monster. But I would like to. I haven't played or or seen the game in action but I'll investigate it I just when I think of monsters and like you know 
what a monster is in my mind, it still goes back to our real monsters. And I could just imagine Ickus and Crumb hanging out. That's it, just hanging out. What was what was her name? Thumbelina? Oh, we got a comedian in the chat. Link says, I can give you my ex's number. That counts. Wow. Holy shit. You're savage, dude. What was her name? Oblina? I think her name was Oblina in uh, Our Real Monsters. Okay, we're almost there. Just a little bit left. And then I might even have time to do something else. This is a good hat. Avoid this cutscene at all costs, right? And then I just have to jump to the back of the studio lot where they're filming. Should be right down this way, if I'm not mistaken. Ah! Oh! Okay. It's somewhere around here. I'll find it. Oh, hey, Des. I am streaming early today. Yeah, it's out of necessity. Tomorrow I'll be streaming early as well. Or earlier. Um, and then it's, it's just gonna be a crazy week, and... I'm trying to fit these streams in wherever I can. Hour here, two hours here. So did you know you can play Metroid Prime with a mouse and keyboard? <laughs> Apparently it's not all that great. Some people said it was good, and other people said it wasn't so great, and that the, um, the Wiimote was actually better. If I ever restream Metroid Prime 1 or 2... I'm gonna investigate that. Either mouse and keyboard, or new play control, whatever. Because I've never played- the only game I played with the Wiimote in the Prime series was 3, and I don't necessarily want to revisit that. I thought about it, and then I watched, um, that Geek Critique dude talk about it, and I was like, Oh, right, there are some issues with this game. There's issues with Metroid Prime 2 as well. I remember having a, a really fucking hard time with that game, but... I think if I were to revisit any of them, it would be two. Because one, I revisited a couple years ago. So we'll see. I might do Wiimote Controls Prime 2 before Prime 4 comes out. Whenever that is. Wait a minute, this isn't the right way, is it? Time Rift Purple. Is this correct? Am I, am, am I in the right spot? Didn't I do this already? Time stop really helps. I did half of it. Oh, right, I got upset. <laughs> right, I got pissed off and stopped. I was too tired. It was probably like right at the end of the night. 
so okay. It's fine. We'll do it now. Fuck it, we'll do it. We'll do it live. better than when I was tired. Also, Hypo, you did the animations for this game, right? So Hypo's in chat. Hypo's a dev for this game. I found out that Hypo made a Vine Sauce animated in SMF... SFM? SFM. A couple years back. It's kind of fucking awesome. Bless your soul. <clears throat> Bless your soul, Hypo. No, it's not the Mario and Luigi one. It's the one where... I don't actually... It's the one where, um, Scout from TF2 is used to represent me. Which is pretty much the same exact thing. It's the Mario Luigi one? I think now is a good time, as any, to uh, show it, or at least some of it, just so you know what I'm talking about. Um. Hmm. Hmm, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Mario and Luigi one. Okay, let's see. This is one of mine. You used my old branding, how dare you. Okay, no, you modified it, it's fine. It's all good. Okay, let's take a look. I've definitely showed this on stream before, but... Let's... let's watch it. Fuck, it's only two minutes. Two and a half minutes. Okay. You like how Nintendo hired someone named, um... Bowser? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Bowser How much one. you want to bet this guy's not even fucking qualified? This Bowser guy. I bet he doesn't even know. Well, my name is, uh, Mario Luigi. That's your name. So wait, you legally had it changed to be Mario Luigi. Well, no. I was born this way. Uh, my mom's uh, family name was Luigi, and my dad's first name was Mario, so they called me Mario Luigi. And um, we here at Nintendo, as you can imagine, are thrilled to have someone on our staff who actually knows IT, whose name is Mario Luigi. We think the fans will love it. We, we really do think our audience is going to love it. Who, who, uh, what do you mean exactly? Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know, this is Nintendo. We, you know, Mario Luigi, <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. What are nope. these subtitles? Never heard of them. But, uh, my brother Luigi, he might have. Get in here, Luigi. Oh, hey, Mario! What, Nintendo? Home, I, home what? I thought they made playing cards, Mario. No, oh, they... They make video games. Apparently there's some guys called Mario and Luigi that are in the video games, Luigi. Oh my god, Mario! Oh, I can't believe it! This is a dream job, Mario! And then Reggie's like, you're hired. You're in. You're in? What do you mean, you're in? Look, just because we were sanitation for a few years doesn't mean we're piss peddlers, okay? <laughs> That's really good. Man, my voice sounded different just a couple years ago. This is from July 19th, 2015. 
But uh, yeah, my compressor was, I was using a different compressor. I, I sounded much more nasally. But that was, that was really good. The fucking the animation, like the, the lip syncing was like perfect typo. I can imagine that being like, you know, you sent that to the team. You're like, this is my resume. And they're like, hired. But wait a minute, what's your first name? Hypo's like, my first name is Hat. What's your last name? K kid. You're definitely hired. plans on streaming the Pikmin games. I've streamed Pikmin 3 fairly recently. If I ever do another Pikmin game, it would be obviously Pikmin 2, which is like a crowning achievement for the series. But, I don't have any plans to do anything Pikmin related anytime soon. That was almost a Jeff Goldblum end to a sentence. He ends a lot of sentences like that. Oh, it's me, shitty Jeff Goldblum. I can't do a Jeff Goldblum impression, but I fancy myself... You know, someone who can do it. So I try, and it never sounds like him, but in my head, it's, it's a perfect one-to-one -one Jeff Goldblum. Why is the word peck so... so filthy, always? It's gotta refer to some li lascivious sexual act. Ah, oh, god damn it! The new trend is pecking. First there was dogging, but now, much like birds getting together for a peck in the park... I don't even... I don't even know where to take that. I can see the recreation on the news. Just like... You know, it in turn dressed up like a bird with a big cardboard nose or beak pecking at the speed of sound. In a peck? Oh. New catchphrase. Still trying to get it eight? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. No.
What the fuck? Those are very obviously designed for wall jumping, but when I get to the top, it doesn't wall jump anymore. Okay, maybe not. It's okay, it's probably just... it's probably nothing. Too slow. No way that owl didn't see that. Come on. Don't owls supposedly have good eyesight? Fuck. Oh wait, no, they don't, right? Owls actually have pretty bad eyesight. I knew it was one, it was one of the two. So I was almost right. Even though I was completely wrong. It was between one answer and the other answer. Both on opposite sides of the spectrum. Vinny, slow the fuck down. No! No, I gotta go fast! I can't go slow. Some cool music. Did I, uh, miss a photograph? I think I did. Yeah, I missed one. It's up in the rafter. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's up here. Oh, look, wall jump. I see. Good. I mean, the, the photos don't count towards, uh, 100%. That's okay. This isn't an overly difficult game to do a 100%. And it's worth it. All of the time pieces are fun. To varying degrees. So here's the story. They had big dreams. They both wanted it. They come to the studio. They argue they have to share the space. Divided in half. And thus... The war of bird ideologies would rage on for centuries. Mm. All right, Peck next. Here we go. Thirty-nine. Finale time. <laughs> Hat Link. Alright. 
fucking mustache girl. I knew she couldn't be trusted from the very beginning. That mustache didn't even look real to me. Everyone's waiting to meet Mustache Girl. <laughs> oh, it's you. Hey, kid. How's that soul of yours? Still rattling around in there? I'd love to know who thinks they're a big enough deal to judge me. So I've taken a few. Hundred souls, big deal. Do us all the favor, kid. Go check out who thinks they're better than us and hit them. I don't usually advocate that kind of thing, but this is pretty authoritarian. <laughs> we'll just, uh, just wait right here. We'll just skip ahead a little bit. We're waiting in line. All right, so what now? You guys want to talk a little bit? I'm going to be doing a Q&A for the next three and a half hours while we wait in line. Let's fucking... Let's do this. Must-ash... girl. Like, ashing a cigarette? Who's your favorite Gaki member? Um... I think Matsumoto. Alright, welcome to the inside of Corona Mountain. Then he go back and talk. T too late. Sorry. Fellow criminals have not re-emerged from the lava. Very strange. Jesus. No! Hello, fellow criminals. It is I, Criminal. It's your problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, we gotta band together. Burbs and hat kids. Low budget bullet bill.
I can't wait to get to Mustache Girl. She takes off her mustache and it's just the conductor. I can see it now! Doctor was standing in line. Oh, well, that's that's just a ruse. It's a red herring. about to get murdered! Oh, that wasn't a pattern on the ground. That was, in fact, lava. That was lava and not a carpet! And thus the impatience begins. Just trying to do a goddamn speed run. Whoa! Whoa! Don't do that. Least favorite enemies in the game. They don't just steal your shit, but they knock you off. Please be removed. The tyrannical mustache girl must be stopped. Though I'm not entirely sure what she's doing wrong. I mean, if she wants to live in a castle. She only has one of the timepieces. I, I can still get home with 39 out of 40. Maybe just, like, leave her? Maybe we don't have to worry about this?
Holy shit, never mind. She's got a lot more than one. Punch old man for like two days straight at one time. Oh wow! What a touching story! Just kidding. Bad guy, next! No! I said next! Yeah, no, she needs to go. Oh, the thought must be removed. You. You've been kinda a selfish little pest, but uh, you haven't actually stood in my way. You get to go on. You're a good guy, uh, I guess. Go on! You get to live! Next! Excuse me! Don't you dare get anywhere near me. I don't think you quite understand who's in charge, little missy. You know, I was willing to forgive you. I once thought we were gonna be best buds. But nope, you turned out to be rotten and selfish. Save the planet from bad guys. Psh, who needs that, am I right? Look at all I've done without you. I've restored justice. I am the justice. No more bad guys, ever. Except all the bad guys, of which there are thousands. I don't need you. This planet doesn't need you. Nobody will miss you, and nobody will care. I am the law! You are the bad guy, and I'll show you how this justice system deals with bad guys. Stop time. Hack kid doesn't even break a sweat and just smiles. Mustached girl is not welcome here. Mafia say get lost. Well, I'm now sympathetic towards the mafia. <laughs> That's right, get lost. No one wants you here. Isn't that right, big lad? Big lad. Lost. What? What? But I'm fixing everything. No more bad guys. <laughs> They're all bad guys. I'm doing this for all of us. <laughs> How can you stand behind these people? Not really. This ends now. No, they're next. <laughs> Fuck, I need those. Where are you getting all these from? Kid, new Emperor of Earth. Oh, yeah, have fun with your shitty laser beam. I had that shit too. Girl, we have to help. You got it, lad. 
I'd give her something she can jab at that little red nuisance so she'll get lost. Let's roll. Um, a what? <laughs> <laughs> little girl, give us a shove right into that red lass's ugly mug. Oh, nice. Be gone. Yeah. Now this is a boss fight. I bet the bitrate is taking a shit on itself right now. Probably looks like pixelated porn from 1995. That hurt. But it's very unsportsmanlike. Let's sign a contract, make this girl get lost. Once and for all. <laughs> all right, let's go. I'll create you. Some healing. Need some healing. Ah. How much of this do I have to do over again? Like all of it. Like all of it. Fug. Okay, at least I get a little bit of health when I. I hit her, but it's still not enough. Man, shit gets hard. Get good at lad. Okay, there we go. Let's I, I can do this. Just have to try to get through this section without taking any damage. It's very possible. I can do it. I'm learning. Whoa. What the fuck? Um... I don't <laughs> think that might be a glitch. <laughs> she teleported under the level. Now she's cheating. Okay. At least I got back here quick. Mistakes are made. Come on. Oh. Somehow that, that worked. I mean, even though I didn't hit anywhere near the shield, it's good enough.
Oh shit, she's killing the spectators! They're dead now! Those poor bastards. Mafia explode. Mafia drop pawns. This gives Mafia an idea. Little Hat Girl need help to turn back time. If Mafia explode, Little Hat Girl get useful pawns. They're gonna... Mafia has to explode to save world. <laughs> They're gonna sacrifice themselves. What? Plan is crazy. Hello, Mafia. No worry. If Little Girl succeed, Mafia come back when time rewinds. Now. Punch me with all your might, fellow Mafia! No hesitation! <laughs> Red Hooded Girl, girl get, get lost! Oh no! <laughs> it would have been great if they punched each other at the same time. <laughs> Those Mafia lads. So foolishly brave. But eh, what's the point of living if I ain't got me train anyway? Alright, DJ Grooves. The two of us are gonna help this little hot lass. Get ready for a mean punch. And you aim for my face. That's my weak spot. This angry red lass needs to get lost. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, there you go. Bad guy, get lost. We don't need a hero. Get lost. It's a shame I only have a maximum of four health. Get lost. My, my powers are disappearing. Oh no, I'm supercharged, hack kid now. I have the power to rid mustache girls. My health comes comes back instantly. Power of friendship. It's the power of love. It's like the end of Super Metroid, but with kisses. And, and suicide pacts, apparently. Every game needs a smooch button. Disrespecto! This is the part where Chris Redfield shows up, jumps out of a helicopter, his arms swollen. He's got muscle wings. Leon is under his left arm. The rotted, decayed arm of Wesker is in his right. And he rescues Hat Kid. Drop a timepiece down and lend the Red Hooded Girl some time power to defeat the Mafia. Um... I don't know, I kind of, you know... Kind of grew on the mafia a little bit. Yeah, they grew on, they grew on me. Eh.
kind-hearted mafia. Number one, set a course for the Andorian system. Engage. <laughs> what? Hey, kiddo! Let's make another contract! Oh, don't you dare leave, lass! Let's watch our movie, darling! <laughs> Be gone. Space window. <laughs> so there you go, there's a hat in time. Um, hat kid's a little bit of a sociopath, isn't she? So, that's Hat in Time 1. Now, Hat in Time 2 will be out in a couple years. And there's gonna be five different characters. Each with thousands of collectibles. And the only way you can switch between the characters is to get into the uh, character changing barrel. The collectibles will be grayed out. Unless you switch to the right character. The Hat Kid Rap. Lanky Kid. Funky Kid. Um, tiny Kid. Diddy Kid. That doesn't sound- I don't like that one. That's a bad one. My favorite world was- was Spoop World. I mean, they were all pretty good. But Spoops was my favorite. Luigi? There's someone- there's someone named Luigi on the team! Yeah, that's how I got the job, Mario! Yeah, but I really loved this game. This was the best 3D platformer outside of, like, say, Mario that I've played in years. Really tight, like, collectathon with not a ton of collectibles. Just enough that you wanted to keep going. Like, it struck a perfect balance. Cool characters, memorable characters, uh, good worlds. Um, really tight platforming very good controls. Everything about the game was, was pretty great. And it was not a terribly long game. It didn't overstay its welcome. I recommend if you play this game that you 100% um, it, because it's not too hard to do. It's, it's fun. It's worth it. World 6 and 7 will be free DLC. Is that true? Well, when the DLC comes out, I'll probably check it out. And also, I want to do the workshop eventually. I have to- I can't do it now because the review copy does not let me access the workshop. So, eventually. 
there's a vine sauce mod. There's um some Mario 64 levels. There it is. Look at that beautiful save file. It's <laughs> so fucking beautiful. But what happens if you help Mustache Girl? Nothing different? Okay, well. She just throws down a piece, that's it. Okay. Well, that was a hat in time, and as I said before, I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it, and, um, yeah. Good game. I mean, I think Kickstarter gets a bad rap because of a number of high-profile games that really failed to do anything interesting with the amount of money they raised. But for a game that had a fairly low budget, this game had a lot of love and polish, and... It was just a really great platformer. I mean, if you loved the N64 platformers, but then you went back and played them and they kind of felt a little weird, it's because they didn't age that well, in my opinion. Banjo-Kazooie aged pretty well. I love Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Tooie, I'm a little afraid to play for a number of reasons. DK64, man. That Geek Critique dude did a great video on DK64 and how it killed the collectathon. But um, I'll tell you about that in one second. I'll just say that this game struck the right balance between the Mario like acrobatics and the collection stuff of Banjo. And also pretty good story elements and great music. So it did pretty much everything I wanted out of a 3D platformer. Um, the reason DK64 is cited as a bad example is because of the barrel mechanic and you know having to switch characters. And because the, the levels are... As was described, and I thought this was a great way to put it, giant empty areas with tons of shit in them, and like, they're just connected by dark caverns. And that's kind of the game. You go through dark caverns, you get to an area, and then you collect stuff. I was saying the other day, I think DK64 would benefit from a re-release, but what they would do is have a button where you press, like, select, and you can switch to any character on the fly. That would probably make the game much more palatable, and I would play it again if that was the case. Because I feel like DK64 was such a cool game, just not done very well. Um, I did like the puzzles in the game, and I liked the uh, mini games, but I didn't. I didn't really care for all the backtracking. This game was really good because it didn't have a lot of backtracking. It was like choose a mission. You know, explore, find stuff, yes, but you know where you have to go, and you can just kind of go there. So, hat in time. Good game. 